So for our games, uh, we want relatively complicated environments and levels to work in, perhaps that look a bit like this with lots of blocks. We can individually place these blocks in code. We know how to do that. So for example, if I want to put create a player sprite and put it at a particular position, I'd write a few lines of code like this. Uh, obviously, that's going to be horrible if you've got lots to do. So we don't. What we use instead is a program called Tiled, where we can draw our maps and then we can import them into our Python games. So this is going to be a two-part uh, video series. The first part, we're going to look at drawing the map. And the second part, we'll look at importing into uh, Python Arcade games. Obviously, they're very closely interlinked. Um, there are instructions, of course, on the Python Arcade website. I found that tiled is a bit non-intuitive and a bit fiddly. It's not hard, it's just fiddly. Uh, so that's why I'm recording the video for you. So this is what you see when you open tiled. And the first thing you're going to do is make a new map. I think these are the defaults. Um, I may have changed them. I can't remember. I don't know if it remembers your defaults. I set my tile size to 128 pix, 128 pix, because that's the sizes that we've got in the tile sheet, which is in the standard set of resources. So it seems a decent kind of size to me. If yours isn't 128 by default, I recommend you change it. Uh, we, once we've learned how to use the um, the sizes that they've got, maybe we can tweak it and use our own sizes, but that is the best place to start. So go save as. Now I have, I'm in the folder where I've already got a program ready to run it called map, my folder is called maps demo. I'm going to call it my map.tmx um, and it should create a map here. There we go. So this is a kind of grid system. If I just zoom in, you can see uh, we've got lots of tiles where we can put individual blocks. So we need to get those blocks in place. The way we do that is by going new tile set and super important that you tick this embed in map well, i think it is anyway um, because if you don't tick that it will still work but when you like pass it onto a different computer like for instance when you hand it in for marking it won't find the tile set and uh, it will it won't load properly so make sure you've got the embed in map ticked i think everything else is default again 128 128 i think is pretty important We've got to find the tiles. Um, so on the S drive and uh, just in that same resources place that we looked at before when we were looking at the files on the S drive, Python Arcade built in sprites, images, sprite sheets is the place where you'll find this particular one. And if I just go to large icons, you'll see this one has got a whole bunch of um, individual sprites which is everything sized correctly. So when I click open and click OK, yep, we've now got these. Every time I click on one of these, it's 128 pixels all the way around. 128 pixels, it matches the 128 pixels over here. So that's why we keep it all the same. Right, so that's the first step, and we'll be able to paint these over here in a minute. But I'm not going to do that quite yet, because I'm going to look at this layers window up here. Layers is super important, because we don't just want to have like individual walls we can place extra things we can place like lava or uh, doors or coins or whatever we want but they need to be in the layers that are appropriate for this so what I've found is rather than working with tile layer one here this one you don't seem to be able to rename and I don't like that so instead I make a new layer and I call it something in this case I'm going to call it maybe walls doesn't matter because so, we would just refer to that in the other one and now I can start drawing so I select uh, one of my blocks and I'm going to do a bit of a staircase I think up here and some more stuff over here and maybe at the top I'll have a switch these are all going to be the same kind of object so that uh, that'll, that'll probably do for now We'll perhaps put one of those there and they're all in the walls layer super important that you make sure you're clear about which layer you're working on um, so at the moment i'm on the walls layer there's nothing on the tiles layer uh, that's good enough for demo purposes so Control s to save that so it's saved with the embedded tile set 
and we're good to go. Um, and say I wanted to have lava, I would make a new layer because uh, the lava is going to kill me. So I'm going to make a new layer called lava. And this is going to be what goes in the lava layer. Just check it. I am working on the lava layer. Moving across here. And uh, which have I lost my lava sprite? Can I zoom out and find it? I think it's these ones here. Is that right? Yeah. So we're going to have some lava along here. If I touch the lava, I'm going to die. So lava is on the lava layer. War is on the wars layer. Save that. And in the next video, we'll import that into um, Python arcade game.